You know what I like. Money. And I've got it all here, in my digital wallet. I guess I'll just lock it with a secure password. That's the ticket. And that's why Mr. Moneybag should have invested in cloud storage for businesses. Now, cloud storage is ideal if you want to back up your files and prevent ransomware attacks as a personal user. Features like automatic sync are useful in the event of, well, you know. All right, cool, but what if you need the best cloud storage for business conducted online or in a hybrid environment? Will any personal cloud storage system work? Probably not. Businesses typically have higher capacity needs, support for more devices, stronger security needs, and better features for syncing and restoration. Bringing in a personal cloud server for business use is sort of like bringing your kid's play car to underground street racing. So, when picking the best cloud storage for business, what should you look for? Well, we've got you covered in this video as we plan on looking at seven of the best cloud storages based on the price you pay for the service, the storage capacity you get for the price, the number of devices supported, encryption and file security, sync capabilities across multiple devices, backup features for preserving and saving files even in the event of a server failure, and file restoration, meaning how long you can go back to restore accidental deleted files. We will feature the best and worst cloud storage options for your business. Our rating scale will be from S to D, with S being almost perfect, while D is, well, Speaking of a hot circle of garbage, all of the best business cloud storage options we will feature outside of that circle of garbage can be found alongside deep discounts in our video's description. So if you want to save some money and save your digital assets, check out our video description below. So without much further ado, let's get started with our top 7 results. The first cloud storage solution we'll be looking at is iDrive. iDrive isn't a bad starting point. Its starting business plan is about $75 per year for 250 gigabytes. This goes up to 5 terabytes for just over $1,000 per year. You can also pay monthly, but you need a minimum of 1.2 terabytes for about $50. When paying these prices, you get unlimited users, SQL databases, and devices. Alternatively, if you only have 5 computers and users, you can instead choose their $75 for 5 terabyte option. Thankfully, iDrive justifies their prices with strong security features, including a top-of-the-line AES-256 security system. This is known as one of the best security options, especially if you've checked out our VPN reviews. To bolster these security features further, they support third-party audits, which is nice. However, I should mention that iDrive does not have strong malware protection. Regarding backups, iDrive does very well. It supports all major platforms, including PCs, Linux systems, mobile devices, and network-attached storages, or NAS devices. They even go far as to include USB backups to you in the mail, which is amazing. Collaborative and syncing tools also happen in real time. It even has a really handy remote management tool, allowing you to control the access of your users. Finally, if a user were to accidentally delete one of your files, you have 30 days to restore it. It also has much more powerful versioning, as it will store 30 previous versions of any files, allowing you to easily track numerous changes. So, overall, we're putting iDrive in the decent tier. It protects your files with encryption, but could use some improvements with virus protection and restoration. The next business file management system we will look at is OneDrive for Business. OneDrive is Microsoft's baby, meaning that it comes with all things Microsoft is known for. OneDrive has two options. $5 per one terabyte per user or unlimited individual cloud storage for $10 per user per month. Alternatively, you can add a few dollars per month to include some services like Microsoft Office and SharePoint. The most you'll pay is $15 per user per month for everything. Each user you pay for gets their own share of five devices to be run simultaneously. If you have 50 or more seats, you get deployment support, which can help you integrate it with support from Microsoft. Given this focus on collaboration, OneDrive does support automatic real-time syncing of your files. However, these syncing and real-time collaboration features are limited to Microsoft, so unless you like Word or spreadsheets, you won't find much use for this. For those who collaborate with one or two people, this is really cheap. However, once your business grows beyond a certain number of users, other companies are more cost-effective. 
Plus, not everyone wants Microsoft's products, given Google gives free alternatives. All right, well, what about security? Being a huge tech company, Microsoft does well here. It makes use of the same AES-256 security as iDrive, but it takes a step further by integrating Windows Defender as part of its cloud storage package. Windows Defender is one of the better antivirus platforms out there. With its Windows Defender support comes its backup features, which go back 93 days should your files get removed or a ransomware attack occurs. This backup feature is better than most, but not the best. Despite some great cost effectiveness for small teams, OneDrive for Business isn't ideal for businesses that don't want to integrate with Microsoft. Because of this, we put it in the not terrible category. Next, we're going to take a closer look at Ignite, a business cloud storage solution with less clout than OneDrive. Much like OneDrive, its cost is based on a per user basis, starting at $20 per month. This starts at one terabyte of overall storage with the ability to set a gigabyte limit per user. So as you might imagine, the costs of Ignite can add up pretty fast and you don't get any of the Microsoft stuff. Its more expensive plans, Enterprise Lite and Enterprise, don't include pricing but are most definitely more expensive. So say goodbye to your wallet. How does Ignite justify such a cost? Well, it starts at one terabyte of storage with unlimited users and devices, so that's a pretty good start. It also has some pretty solid overall features. With one-click co-editing, you can simultaneously edit files with your co-workers. Any edits you make will update every 15 minutes, making it an incredibly robust syncing system. There are also live collaboration features across numerous editing systems. It also integrates with Google Workspace, Salesforce, Microsoft Office, and a whole bunch more integrated apps and features. Way more than what you get with OneDrive. What's closer to OneDrive is its file restoration features, which goes back three months. For those who pay for the Enterprise and Enterprise Lite plans, it also has a work approval feature, meaning you can bring files through versioning and have admins approve the work. But what about security? Overall, they're pretty good. You'll receive assisted file recovery and ransomware protection. There's also a fairly robust antivirus system and auditing system, allowing you to track internal attacks. The biggest problem with its advanced security features is how it's limited to higher pricing tiers, which might alienate small businesses. Thankfully, it does encrypt these files with the familiar AES-256 security. Despite the cost, there are some powerful features here. Also, with over 150 integrations, we have to put this under the good category. The number four cloud storage solution for businesses we want to look at is Backblaze. Now, despite Backblaze sounding like something I might have put on my deviant heart during my angsty teenage years, it is known as one of the better business storage solutions out there. To start, it costs $5 per terabyte of storage. This is easily the least expensive of all the cloud storage options we've reviewed thus far. Unfortunately, this plan only applies to a single computer, so you'll have to pay for another individual license to back up those files. This feature makes syncing across multiple devices pretty challenging. However, it is ideal if you have a single server and a bunch of devices that make changes on that server. Thankfully, it does share the iDrive backup option to receive a mailed drive. So if you want to order a physical USB copy of your server, you can do that. Ultimately, this is the most secure method to back up your files as the USB isn't on your server. Speaking of security, Backblaze does make use of two-factor authentications, the ability to track internal user stats and secure data transmission. However, it does make the use of weaker encryption security and AES-128, which is about half as effective as other offerings. Its last feature, file restoration, goes back to 30 days, which is standard for the industry. This includes all changes within the past 30 days, which is great if you make a lot of changes in a short period and want to restore something. So Backblaze clearly isn't winning any best off awards, but it isn't bad either. Ultimately, it's best for those who want a backup server, and its cost effectiveness puts it in the C territory, making it not terrible. Now, FlipDrive is another cloud storage for business services you can use. Its reputation is, well, how do I put this? ENDLESS TRASH! Now, is it really that bad? Let's find out. On pricing, it does have a free personal plan. 
Its one business plan is $20 per month with two terabytes of cloud storage. It also has an unlimited file size upload, which is a pretty neat feature. It does sync and back up your files on its servers and allows you to share your files using direct links. However, it tends to be slower than other providers regarding this syncing and backup service. It also doesn't account for other users or devices, meaning the sync only works with your computer. Collaboration is virtually impossible with Flip Drive. It also doesn't have file restoration, which makes it even worse. But what about security? Well, there is none. There's no encryption, antivirus, or ransomware protection. There's also no support for multi-factor authentication. Even worse, its privacy policy allows FlipDrive to use the files you upload, like your photos, to direct advertising toward you. Oh my no, God! Despite being relatively cheap for your business of one, everything else about FlipDrive is just plain bad. So we put it where it belongs, in the meme category. So now that we've gone through the trash, we can move on to the next storage service, Sync. Sync divides its pricing into two forms, for individuals and for teams. If you run an online business, your team option is either $6 per user per month or $15 per user per month. You might think this puts it on par with OneDrive for Business, but you get one terabyte of storage under the $6 option, which is more than what you get through OneDrive. If paying $15 or more, you get unlimited storage, which is pretty good if you ask me. Much like other per user options, the cost can add up as your organization gets bigger. Get ready to drop some serious dosh. So what do you get for this price point? Well, among syncing, everything is automatically synced across as many users as you are willing to pay for with no device limits. You can choose to sync on a cloud-only basis, meaning you don't need to download your files to edit them. You can also get unlimited link sharing, team-based folders for different business segments, and custom branding if you are into reminding your employees or co-workers who they work for. Sync also has some of the best file restorations in the industry, going back as far as 180 days for its cheaper team plan, or 365 days for its more expensive team plan. Going back a year or more is just insane, and other cloud business software should take notes. Among integrations, it mainly works with Office 365. However, it includes Google Files, Windows, Mac OS, and more advanced tools like Adobe Photoshop. So it could be better, but it has options. If we extend this review to security, it has the same beloved AES-256 encryption. It also blocks third-party tracking and supports HIPAA, GDPR, and PIPEDA compliance. This means that you can store medical or user data while remaining compliant with major organizations. It also allows for activity tracking and multi-factor authentication, but it could use some improvements in malware detection. Despite having some weaknesses in virus detection, it's clear that Sync prioritizes user data protection and privacy. And with a huge number of features, we can comfortably put this one under the good category. Now, the last cloud storage for business service we plan on looking at is pCloud. This one gets a lot of hype, but is that hype justified? Well, let's take a look. First, on pricing, you'll find it costs either $7.99 per user per month for a yearly subscription, or $16 with either one terabytes of data or unlimited data per user. Given we're talking per user, this creates some ridiculous flexibility that other cloud storage providers don't offer. Given this insane flexibility, you can also get unlimited devices across those users. This includes a robust app network for Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. You can even get a browser extension that lets you save information from the web onto your storage. pCloud encryption comes with a business plan, which includes top-grade encryption protocols. In fact, pCloud has tested more than 600 organizations to crack those protocols, with none being able to do it. The crucial element of this security feature is a zero-knowledge server. This means that even if the staff wanted to access your information, it couldn't. All of it is client-side encryption, meaning you control when and how your files are sent through the cloud. Additional features include automatic syncing across all devices, team-level access so you can sort your organization, and the ability to include comments and monitor activity across your files and folders. You also get file restoration and version control that goes back up to the cool 180 days. Given pCloud's robust support and great features, it's going to be our overall winner. 
So you can find it in our S tier with us rating it as excellent. Of course, you might think otherwise, which is cool. Either way, you can find discounts on all of this business cloud storage software in our description. So if you're looking for some business cloud storage, why not save a bit of money while you're at it? Let us know what you think. Do you have a different opinion? We want to hear your thoughts in the comments. And you can also support the channel by giving it a like, subscribing, and clicking the little bell icon for notifications. Otherwise, YouTube does this thing where they don't tell you when we review our next security product or eat hot chilies. Thanks for stopping by.